The stock market and precious metals, which should you be in? This is actually a very important topic. Um, it's very relevant with what's going on right now. A lot of people in the stacking community, we believe in holding silver and gold because we believe that this is you know, true money. It's going to hold your wealth. It's going to store your wealth. It's going to preserve it, uh, keep you safe, right? Let you go to sleep at night and not worry that the value of these are um, you know, dropping too much, right? This is going to kind of like secure all that, lock it in place, and you're going to be safe. A lot of people, though, in the stacking community often use the term investing in silver and gold. Now, I typically will use that term investing when I'm looking to actually get my video viewed, okay? Um, let's just be completely honest here. I put the term investing in silver and gold if I want to have it searched. That's it. However, when it comes down to investing, silver and gold, at least in my opinion and a lot of others, this isn't really investing. This is a form of savings. If you're going to be investing, you're going to be putting your money into a vehicle that is going to work for you and is going to make money. This is not really something that you are going to do to really make money. If you are a trader in commodities and you're buying and selling uh, large amounts of silver and gold frequently, that's one way to do it. Or if you're a retailer or a reseller, I mean, I happen to do that myself. A lot of you are aware. Um, you do make some money in that regard. But when it comes to you know silver and gold being an investment, it's not really an investment. Okay, It's just another type of savings. It's like a savings mechanism. So when it comes to the stock market, market and precious metals. A lot of people also think that precious metals are going to keep you safe from the stock market. If the stock market is going to plummet, that your stocks, uh, sorry, that your precious metals are going to go up in value. And that also is not true. In fact, I recently had Chris Vermeulen on from Technical Traders, who uh, just also expressed the same sentiment, showed some analytics that when the stock market goes down, the uh, stocks of silver and gold also tend to follow. They'll trail and sometimes they'll have a quick little burst right before they drop, but they also do kind of drop. So when it comes to the stock market and precious metals, which should you be in right now, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, and again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do believe that you should be in both. I don't think that you should have all of your eggs in one basket. I don't think that you should be putting all of your money just in gold or all in silver. I think that you should also be in the stock market. I think you should also be putting a little bit of money into crypto if you're able to. Um, and it all depends, obviously, on your risk tolerance, your age, where you are in life, so on and so forth. But when it comes to precious metals in the stock market right now, we are seeing a lot of volatility with everything that was happening last week when it comes to GameStop, Nokia, BlackBerry, AMC, everything that was going on with Robinhood, right? The hedge fund billionaires uh, freaking out because they are losing billions and billions of dollars. And then the Main Street uh, little guys, the everyday person just uh, on Reddit, Wall Street Bets, buying up uh, all the GameStop shares, Nokia, BlackBerry, AMC, first majestic and just making those prices go through the roof and that way they were actually you know holding the uh, hedge funds feet to the fire um, it caused a lot of chaos and there's going to be a lot of fallout from this it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to play out but when it comes to your precious metals and the stocks you know should you sell what should you do um, I'm going to be honest with you. I personally, you know, I'm looking at my stock portfolio that I like to dabble in just for fun. I do have my other, um, you know, portfolio uh, and account set up with my financial advisor, but I do have something on the side that I like to do on my own as like a hobby. I'll take some of my profits from my business and I will put that into the stock market and just do some trading and buying of shares on my own. So I'm not really looking to sell anything that I have. The stuff that I have is really not so speculative. I have a lot of just basically blue chip companies that have been around for a long time. They're looking to, you know, make a lot of money for their investors. Companies like Apple, JP Morgan, ExxonMobil, General Electric, Disney, um, the list goes on Pfizer, um, Lockheed Martin, Tesla. I have I have shares in all these different companies. And 
I am looking at it closely and I am seeing, especially from last week, the prices are starting to dip down. And I think that's probably because a lot of people are starting to get a little bit nervous as to what is going on right now with everything that is happening with the whole Wall Street bets and Robin Hood scenario with GameStop in the middle of it all. But when it comes to precious metals and the stock market, you know, some people are probably wondering, should I sell all of my stocks right now and lock it into precious metals where it's safe and secure? I mean, you do you. You do whatever you want to do. I wouldn't advise that. I would pretty much let the stock market drop down. And just like how a lot of you who are stackers view those big price dips in gold and silver, those are opportunities to buy. It's the same thing with the stock market. It's the same strategy. So when you see a dip in gold or a dip in silver, a lot of people in the stacking community, they get very excited because it's a buying opportunity. And the same thing goes for the stock market. So when you see that happening and you see stocks dropping and you have companies that are legitimate companies and they are strong um, and not really at the epicenter of all this other short squeeze business that's occurring, you know, that's an opportunity to buy more in dollar cost average. Um, I don't advise you selling off all of your uh, stocks because of the recent chaos and diving into precious metals. But again, it all comes down to your risk tolerance and what it is that you are comfortable and secure with. Take it from me, I've made plenty of mistakes when it comes to investing. I had a lot of shares in Apple that would have been worth over half a million dollars to this day had I not have sold it all. And this was back in the mid 2000s. I sold it and I regret it ever since. Uh, right now, like I, I've told you guys in a lot of my videos, I'm only 41 years old, so I still have plenty of time until retirement. So my plans are to accumulate as much stock now as I possibly can. And so when there are these moments where we're going to see these dips in the stock market, even crashes, to me, those are opportunities to buy. Because in time, everything is cyclical, it's going to come back up. You have to ride it out, you have to have a level head and just, you know, take a deep breath and relax. So when it comes to the stock market and precious metals, what should you be in? It should be in both. And also try to get yourself some crypto too. Don't discount that. I know a lot of people think that crypto is, you know, not tested and just a big, uh, you know, Ponzi scheme and, um, you know, there's no regulation behind it. I mean, you got to do your research on it, but, um, you know, it's not going anywhere. In fact, a lot of people are probably going to start moving out of stocks and they're going to start looking at crypto, uh, Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum as some uh, safe havens. So uh, think about it, guys. Uh, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Don't put all of your eggs in uh, gold or silver. You want to be diverse diversified. And uh, let me know your comments down below. What are you doing with the current stock market and precious metals? Are you moving from one into the other? Are you hanging on to both? Let us know down below. And I just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Check out these videos. Until next time, long live the empire.